Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today I'm just doing some wrap up work here on the P48. We're going to be uh, taking the uh, 48 Chevy 3100 here back to the owner of the truck for a few weeks. Uh, he's going to put the doors together, put the window glass in it, and uh, I'm going to work on another project here. So, uh, you know, if I had more shop space, I'd, uh, I wouldn't have to move the truck, but I've only got a single, single space garage here. So, um, He's going to take it back and do some of his work to it while I uh, work on the other project that I've got to work on. So I'm going to be finishing up some minor detail stuff that I've got to do before we can get it loaded onto the trailer and get it taken back there. Uh, and I only have a few hours to do it, so it's time for me to uh, stop talking and get to work. Alright guys, so just a quick voice over here of uh, what I'm showing you. This is something that I picked up uh, in the off-roading world. Uh, I went through and Loctited every single nut and screw on the steering shaft assembly. And I also marked them with a little white mark so that at a quick glance you'll be able to see if, a, if a, one of the screws, nuts, or bolts has turned or backed out. Uh, it's just a quick reference for you to look at and, and be able to tell before you drive the vehicle or while you're doing maintenance if, if there's something you need to take an extra quick look at. So we're taking the uh, 48 back to the owner's house now and we've got her on the trailer. Uh, we're in the 6.0 that my brother and I spent a weekend uh, putting back together. And 6.0 uh, is running good, the 48's behaving back there on the trailer. And my awesome brother here was kind enough to uh, help me out today and uh, get the 48 taken home. Well we got the 48 dropped off at the owner's house. And uh, now we're taking the trailer back to the yard, and then we're going to go back to the house and crack a couple beers. And uh, I'm going to have to sweep out my garage because it's a filthy mess. And there's a big empty spot there where the where the 48 was sitting. But uh, all went well today. Thankfully, my brother is an amazing dude, and uh, it uh, you know I hope it was worth the trouble. I'm going to give him a little bit for his time today, and. Uh, pour a couple beers down his neck. So we're here at the trailer yard and we put the put the trailer away and you'll never guess what we happened upon. It's a 250. Oh, <laughs> uh, axles in it. Oh. Oh. It just needs a new bed. Yeah, and a new frame. <laughs> oh yeah, that's pretty rough. Oh, poor thing. That's pretty hard. Oh, it's a freaking four speed, too. These are in the ignition. <laughs> oh, what a bummer. This side. It's got a little, a little rust damage. Yeah. 
A little roof damage. Look at the seams are split. Oh yeah. The pillar's uh pillar's a little worse than the one on my truck. Ah, what a bummer. I thought it was gonna be a jewel, a find. No. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that bedside, yeah, we can straighten that out. Put a ratchet strap on there. <laughs> Uh, so you got T-bone pretty good. Well, I think that one's staying where it's at, unfortunately. Truck I'm looking for, but that ain't it. Hey guys, well, that's going to wrap it up for me for today. We got the P-48 here taken back to the owner's house. Um, and I swept up, I was able to sweep up the floor that I haven't seen in a while. So I've got my floor space back. Uh, the garage is feeling a little bit empty. Um, I think I might have picked up a new customer as we were dropping off. Uh, <laughs> as we were dropping off the 48 there, I had a guy come up and start asking us questions about it. And apparently he has a 53 that he wants some work done on. So I told him to talk to uh, the owner of the truck there and get my contact information from him. So who knows? We'll see maybe where that goes. But uh, the 48's not uh, not out of here permanently. Um, this is a temporary thing. We're gonna uh, this frees up my space for a, a few weeks, maybe a month or two at the most, uh, depending on the condition of the Mustang that I'm gonna be working on. So uh, this is a temporary thing. We both kind of needed a break, and uh, he needed a break from all the expenses that I've been laying out uh, to build that truck. You know, it's. We spent a lot of money and built a built a really nice start on the on the project, but we still have a ways to go. And uh, hopefully, when I get it back, you know, we'll we'll be ready to hit it hard and, and finish that thing up in a few weeks. So um, I think both he and I are kind of relieved um, to be uh, to be at this point and taking a break through the holidays here through Christmas and New Year's, and uh, we're gonna pick it back up again after the first of the year and. Uh, make some good uh, good progress and get that truck drivable. I can't wait to drive it. You know, it, it looks so good sitting there on the trailer and so good when we pulled it off, put it into his, uh, under his uh, parking area there. It looks uh, looks great. So I think he's happy to have it, uh, have it back. He's going to do some work on putting the doors together and getting the glass put in it. Um, and, uh, and then when I get it back, uh, I'll finish everything off. All the all the remaining wiring that needs to be done. There's a few little wiring things. Um, getting all the firewall closed up and the transmission tunnel, and I've got to put a, uh, a small drive shaft tunnel in it. Get the drive line stabbed in there. We've got some machining work still to do. We've got to turn the flywheel. We've got to uh, drill out the front rotors for the proper bolt pattern. Uh, just a lot of little minor things that need to be finished up, and uh, and that thing will be ready to drive. So. Uh, I'm, I'm excited. I, I, I'm relieved to get a little bit of a break, uh, and I can't wait to get back on that project. So uh, that's going to come here in, in a few weeks. But for now, uh, this next week I'm going to spend a little bit of time, which is much needed on my 7.3. Um, I've got a lot, of, a lot of work to do on that truck. I don't know how much I can get done in a week, but we'll see. Uh, and then I pick up the uh, 66 Mustang project. So. Uh, all exciting stuff, good stuff for the channel. I think we're going to have a lot of great content coming. And um, we're also here in the next few weeks going to uh, put together that race video of, uh, of all the trucks. We're going to put the 7.3 head-to-head -head with the 460 head-to-head -head with the 6.0. And we're going to see who comes out on top. Some of our trucks are race trucks, but uh, and they're not built to be that. But uh, they're all strong daily drivers. Uh, both their trucks are stronger than mine, but uh, but I think the 7.3 might have something for them. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. It's all going to come down to uh, how we do it in the quarter mile and who comes out on top. So for tonight, guys, I'm, I'm beat. I'm ready for uh, the rest of that beer and a hot shower and uh, take, a, take a break here tomorrow from projects. Uh, I'll probably pick up on the 7.3. Uh, the day after so I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break maybe do some small stuff and get prep in preparation for all the fiberglass work I've got to do I've got a ton of fiberglass work coming this week but I've got everything in in hand ready to go so I think I'm gonna make some uh, some nice creature comfort progress on the 7.3 this week 
anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video uh, you know I showed a little bit of the video here of uh, of the trailer yard and moving the trailers around it's it's a big production to uh, to get to our car trailer and get get things moved around but uh, but fortunately my brother's a great guy and he doesn't mind helping me out when I really need it and um, you know I think it's kind of maybe a little bit of payback from from the weekend that we spent on his truck here last weekend so I think in in the end it all washes out amongst brothers you know how that works so thanks for watching guys please click like and subscribe if you like the video if if you're new please subscribe I, I think you're gonna see some great stuff coming up um, and for all you guys all you new subscribers thank you for subscribing I do appreciate it and uh, thanks for watching